Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's edition of The Porch. I want to welcome those that are coming on Facebook Live as you get the notification. Welcome. Don't forget to comment and to share the broadcast. Of course, those on Clubhouse as well. The members of Crusaders Church, Impact University, Fivefold Ministry Academy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. Today, we're going to talk about the middle, the middle of the year, why this is such an important part of your year. We hear about the beginning. We hear about the end. What about the middle? We're going to talk about that today. So please, as you come on, again, comment, share, especially those on Facebook Live, share the broadcast as you get today's notification. Remember that Facebook Live does not uh, notify all of my followers. So I need you to help me to get the message out. Uh, please comment, please hit the heart and like button. And um, let's talk about the middle. Uh, if you want to comment on Facebook, type in the word middle or the word the middle in the comment section. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a few announcements to make before I start today's lesson. I also want to encourage and challenge you in your giving, if you support what I'm doing worldwide, um, you can do that by going to the giving addresses and sow a seed today. Your 111 seeds based on Deuteronomy 111, the Lord make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. I'm going to be decreeing over your finances, those who are supporting and giving and partnering with me in ministry as I always do based on Job 22, 28, which says, we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. As a matter of fact, today's broadcast, I'm going to be praying and decreeing for the middle of the year, decreeing over you. So we're calling this uh, broadcast prayer and decree for the middle of the year, prayer and decree for the middle of the year. And I'm decreeing over your finances. So go to the giving addresses, given cash app AJE Global, AJE Global, and PayPal at Apostle JE the number one. Apostle JE the number one. You can also zail at E C K H J O H N at gmail.com. Many have been sowing seeds of $111, some $51.11, $21.11, $11.11, even $1.11. And I'm challenging people to sow something significant to help me in what I'm doing globally. We have outreaches that we do in different parts of the world, especially in poorer countries, water projects, uh, outreach to street children in different places that we support. And when you, when you support what I do, you help me to reach out and touch uh, some of the more needy places in the earth. Um, I forgot to, I tried to think of the nation in this hemisphere that we have ministered in, and Belize is a nation that we have done a water project in, in the outskirts of some of the more remote areas of Belize. Also Haiti, another nation um, I've been to, preached in, supported ministry there. Um, then of course, um, also India, and then South Africa, Liberia, um, uh, Mali, Chad, Burkina Faso. Um, these are places that we have touched uh, in giving and blessing. So you help us to do that when you give and um, sow a seed today. Thank you so much. If there are people that can sow a significant seed, uh, something very significant, if you have the means to do it, then please consider doing that. That helps so much more. Now, I appreciate all the gifts, all the support, whether it's $1.11. Um, you sow what you can and believe God to multiply your seed sown based on 2 Corinthians 9.10. Um, I appreciate 11.11, 1.11, we honor you. Thank you for doing that. I never look down on those gifts, but I, I also appreciate those who have the means, business people, pastors, leaders who have the means to really be a blessing to this ministry and sow a large seed, whether it's 1,011, something significant, uh, feel free to do that. And I encourage you to do it. That helps us so much in what we're doing globally in ministry. So Take advantage of the giving addresses. I decree you're coming into your wealthy place. Psalm 66 and 12, wealth and riches in your house. Psalms 12, 12, verse three. More and more, the Lord add more and more to you and your children. Psalms 115 and verse 14. 
I decree prosperity now. Psalms 118 verse 25. I decree that the blessing of the Lord will make rich. Proverbs 10, 33. God will do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think. Ephesians 3, 20. You'll break forth on the right hand and on the left. Uh, that is Isaiah 54 and 3. Isaiah 40, 17. The Lord will teach you to profit and lead you in the way that you should go. Psalms 18, 19. The Lord will bring you into a larger place. James 4 and 6. The Lord will give you more grace this year. More grace. As we come to the middle of the year, let there be more grace, more grace, more grace released upon you in the middle of the year as we get ready to close out this year, the next six months. We're already six months in to 2024. Uh, we began with decreeing, believing for the new year. We're in the middle now. I pray and decree that the blessing of the Lord, the favor of God, all that you need in the middle would come to you now that you'll, you'll finish 2024 strong. You'll finish blessed. You'll finish with strength and power as you get grace and as you get favor, power, strength in the middle. Or anything you need deliverance from in the middle, I pray that you'll be delivered from it and you'll be set free. I decree favor in the middle of the year, grace in the middle of the year, strength in the middle of the year, power, wisdom, in the middle of the year, breakthroughs, miracles in the middle of the year, any adjustments you need to make, uh, any anything that needs to be straightened out in the middle of the year, I pray for that to happen. I pray for your finances in the middle of the year, that new grace and multiplication, increase, abundance, prosperity would come. I pray for your giving in the middle of the year, that you'll not be weary in giving, you'll not be weary in well-doing, I pray for ministries, churches, businesses. I come against tiredness and weariness in the middle, that you'll not faint in the middle. You'll not be tired in the middle. You'll not give up in the middle. You'll not be discouraged in the middle. You'll not be frustrated in the middle, but that you'll be encouraged in the middle of this year, in the middle of 2024. Let new encouragement, let you be anointed with fresh oil. Let newness, freshness come upon you even now. New strength, new anointing, new grace, new power, new wisdom, new favor, new breakthroughs, new doors, new influence, new platforms. Let new things manifest in your life in the middle of this year. New ideas, new innovation, new creativity, new relationships, new connections, new gates, new, new opening for you, new release, new waves of glory. Let it come upon you now in the middle of this year. I pray that as we get ready to go into the month of July, the, the, the next six months, that there'll be new grace, new favor, new power, new strength coming upon you, new joy, new praise, new songs, new worship, new grace on your churches, your ministries. God will give you new words, new prophetic utterances, new decrees, new ideas, new revelation, new insight, new understanding, new knowledge. Let it come to you now, new utterance, new unction. Let it be upon you now in the middle of the year. I pray that any battle you're in the middle of, any battle, you're in the middle of a battle. I pray that you'll come out victorious. You'll not give up the fight in the middle of the battle, but in the middle of the battle, you'll rise up and you'll, you'll get stronger and stronger and the enemy will get weaker and weaker. Thank you, Lord, for doing miracles, mir miracles in the middle. And I've never said that before. Miracles in the middle. I decree miracles in the middle. I speak over everyone here listening today. Miracles in the middle. T type that in. Miracles in the middle. In the middle of your battle. The middle of your struggle. The middle of any pain. The middle of any difficulty. In the middle of any trouble. That God will release miracles in the middle. You'll experience miracles in the middle of the year. Miracles in this month. Miracles as we come to the middle of 2024. I decree and speak and prophesy miracles in the middle. Let there be miracles in the middle in the middle for you. Let you experience the miraculous power of God. Breakthroughs in the middle. Miracles in the middle. Signs and wonders in the middle. Let it happen to you now. Let a wave of glory hit you in the middle. Let, let, let it come upon you now in the middle. Let, let, let God open up a new way, a new pathway, a new door, a new window for you in the middle. Let the windows of heaven, the floodgates of heaven be open over your life in the middle. Let new finances come in the middle of the year. New financial ideas, 
for the next six months. Get, let, let God give you new business ideas, new ways to prosper, new ways to break through, new innovation, new creativity. Let it come upon you in the middle. I prophesy miracles in the middle. And the Lord says, I'm releasing miracles in the middle. The Lord said, don't give up in the middle of your battle, your struggle, your pain, your, your trouble, your situation. In the middle, I will show up. I will come in the midst of you. I will stand in the midst. I'll stand in the middle and I'll protect you. I'll guard you. I'll inspire you. I'll give you strength and power in the middle. And the Lord said, you'll not give up. You'll not lose hope. You'll not be frustrated. You'll not lose the battle in the middle. In the middle of the race, you'll not give up, but I'll give you a second win, a second win in the middle of this year, a new win, a new breath, a second breath is coming to many of you in the middle and that tightness and weariness and frustration is about to leave you and a new joy, a new hope, a new, a new vision will come to you in the middle, in the middle of the year. I prophesy miracles in the middle for you. The Lord said, I'm releasing miracles in the middle. So miracles in the midst. You'll, ex you'll experience miracles in the midst of your ministry, your churches, your business, your families. Miracles in the middle of this situation that you find yourself in. Miracles in the middle. In the in midnight. In the middle of the night. I'll give you breakthroughs, says the Lord. In the middle. The midnight. The midnight season of your life. I'll cause breakthroughs and miracles to come into your life. To come into your situation. Father, I bless them. I prophesy. I decree it today. These miracles in the middle for their life. These decrees in the middle of the year for their life. As we come to the month of July, as we come to the middle of the year, thank you, Lord, for doing something amazing for the people of God in the middle. I pray that your faith would rise up, and I decree and prophesy that your faith will rise up in the middle of the year, in the middle of this season. Your faith will rise up, and you'll have faith for the middle. You'll have faith for the battle. You'll have faith for the midnight hour. You'll have faith to stand up in the middle and see victory. The tide will turn for you and things will change for you and things will reverse for you and things will turn around for you, says the Lord, as I release a word for you in the middle of this year. Receive miracles in the middle, miracles in the middle, miracles in the middle. Father, I thank you for those even that are sowing now. Sowing, sowing for miracles in the middle, in the middle of the year, sowing, Lord, the next six months as we, as we close out this year, we have a, we have a half a year to go. It's not over yet, but even as we get ready for another year, that you'll have new momentum. You'll have new grace, new financial breakthroughs, new miracles that, that, that debts will be canceled and, and, and land and property situations and housing and transportation will be taken care of and clothing. You'll not worry. You'll not stress. You'll not be afraid. The Lord will provide for you. I decree that God will be your Jehovah Jireh, your provider, the one that's more than enough for you. And even divine provision shall be released for you. And you see miracles of provision and miracles of finances and, and things that you thought you'd never come out of. You're coming out of this middle. You'll not be locked in the middle. You'll not be caught in the middle. You'll not give up in the middle. You'll not lose in the middle, but you'll rise up and go forth in the middle of any sickness, any health challenge, uh, the middle of any difficulty, the middle of it. I decree now miracles in the middle and breakthroughs and a miracle uh, for you in the middle for you as you sow, as you give today, as you give in the middle of this year. Let breakthroughs happen for the next six months and beyond. I prophesy, decree it and release it by faith. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Well, I do have a teaching. I didn't plan on doing that, but uh, as I began to talk about the middle, I felt an unction to pray, prophesy, decree. And again, if you want to sow a seed in the middle, go to those giving addresses, Cash App, AJE Global, excuse me, AJE Global and PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one. Apostle J.E., the number one, I'm still decreeing and believing a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more based on Deuteronomy 111 over your life in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Don't forget tonight is our online event. Many of you have registered. Thank you for doing that. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're in the Tampa area, Come out for the service at, at Contagious Church in Tampa. I'll be there ministering live. If you're not at the church, you'll have to register for the event. And uh, many of you have done so. Impact, impactuclass.com. 
impactclass.com. It's called Demons That Destroy Marriages and Relationships. So we're going to be dealing with deliverance tonight and dealing with spirits that really do affect a lot of divorces, separations, and marital problems come as a result of people who have these spirits in their lives that are married and then those who have a bad relationship problems, friendships, covenant relationships, uh, what interferes with that? You know, good relationships are necessary for success and happiness in life. You cannot enjoy life with bad relationship, bad relationship or problems and skills. So tonight will be a night of deliverance. And again, go to impactuclass.com, impactuclass.com. Thank you for those that are sewing in the PayPal. Um, I don't get the notification for Cash App or Zelle. Thank you as well. Keep sewing, comment in the broadcast, Miracles in the Middle, Miracles in the Middle. Type that in, Miracles in the Middle, and don't forget to share this broadcast as well. Finally, um, my art book, uh, I finally have a copy of it, Waves, Waterfalls, and Water Spouts. It is beautiful. Uh, the, the coloring, the subject matter, Psalms 42 and 7, deep calls on the deep at the noise of thy water spouts. All thy waves and billows have come over me. There's a teaching in this book. And then there's some beautiful artwork uh, that I've done uh, that represents waves and, and waterfalls and water spouts. Um, and that uh, there, there are over 140 pictures that remind you of waves and what they represent. Waterfalls, water spouts, and what they represent. Um, I want you to get a copy. There's a teaching in it. It's available at Amazon.com. Again, it's called Waves, Waterfalls, and Water Spouts. And um, that's the second art book that I've done. I didn't have a copy yet. When I got the copy, I'm so inspired by this book. I got so excited uh, when I saw some of the, some of the amazing artwork uh, in the book and what it represents spiritually and prophetically. It's prophetic art for those who love prophetic art. I'll have some of that art available tonight at Contagious Church as well. And um, so order that copy at Amazon.com. Then, of course, the first one we did was called Beauty for Ashes, uh, uh, another book of, of uh, Isaiah 61 and 3. God gives beauty for ashes. They're, they're men and women uh, coming out of ashes, uh, representing beauty uh, for ashes. Um, artwork that I know uh, will inspire you. There's artwork of dancers dancing from the ashes. So it's, it's, a, it's some beautiful artwork and it, it'll really, really amplify your understanding of Isaiah 61 and 3. That is also available at Amazon.com. And finally, the new book on favor that I've written called Who God Favors, 52 people that are, kinds of people that attract the favor of God. And um, that you can put that with the other favor books I've written, Ridiculous Favor and Prayers That Unlock Favor. This one is called Who God Favors. It's available at Amazon.com, Amazon.com. Okay, I'm excited about tonight, getting ready for that. Let's talk about the middle, the middle. Why is the middle so important? Now, several years ago, the Lord gave me this message on the middle um, because often at the beginning of the year, the New Year's, people are excited. They have a New Year theme. Um, they're praying for the new year, decreeing for the new year. It's a new new time, a new season. There's new hope. Um, God, of course, we believe for new things. January 1st, the first month. And then at the end of the year, we always talk about finishing strong. Don't finish the year weak and discouraged, but finish strong. So as we come to December, we're talking about finishing. But sometimes we forget the middle. We're good at starting. We're, we're, we try to finish, but we forget the middle. And so several years ago, the Lord gave me a message on the importance of the middle. And the Lord, and I looked at some scriptures um, that are on the middle. As a matter of fact, when Jesus said he's in the midst, it means he's in the middle. And um, sometimes when you look at, for instance, sports, you know, some people can start off in a race, track and field, swimming very fast, or even in the first quarter of a game. But, but they lose the game in the middle. They, they lose the game. They go in or win it in the middle. They go into halftime and they make adjustments and they come out in the third quarter, which is the middle of the game, and they start turning uh, defeat into victory. 
Sometimes people win at the end. At the end of a game, they come back. But sometimes in a race, a uh, sprint, a uh, long distance race, it's in the middle of the race, especially the middle part, where either you're going to win or lose. You get your second win, you get your second breath, either catch up or you pull ahead. So the Lord taught me that the middle is very important. So I began every middle of the year around this time when the first six months are over to pray and decree over God's people for the middle. It could be you're in the middle of a trial, the middle of a test, the middle of a situation, the middle of problems, the middle of financial problems, the middle of health problems. You're right in the middle of a battle. Well, God wants to give you victory. So you'll not end losing. You're, you're in a winner. Um, the middle often overlooked is a critical phase in the journey from beginning to end. Uh, its importance is especially significant in various contexts, including narratives, personal growth, projects, and spiritual journeys. Um, for instance, if you read a book um, in storytelling, the middle part of the narrative commonly referred to as the rising action or climax is where the main plot unfolds and develops uh, with character de development. It's where characters face challenges and grow, making their eventual triumph or failure meaningful. Um, in plot progression, the middle is where the story's conflicts and themes are fully explored, driving the narrative forward. In engagement, this part keeps the audience engaged with twists, turns, and deepening conflicts. You know, in the middle of a movie, a movie can change in the middle. It's, it's, it's important and important. Movie starts all, it's exciting, but it's in the middle of the movie that's either the audience is won or lost because their twists, their turns, things deepen in the middle of the movie. Uh, personal growth and development. In personal growth, the middle represents the ongoing process of change and development between the initial decision to change the beginning and the realization of goals or the end, uh, its, its significance includes building habits. The middle is where new habits are formed, old ones are broken, overcoming challenges, individuals face and overcome obstacles during this phase, which strengthens character and skills. Learning and adaptation, continuous learning and adaptation occur in the middle, ensuring the progress that progress is sustained and adjusted as needed. In project management, in project management, the middle phase involves executing the plan, monitoring progress, and making necessary adjustments. Often the middle is where you make an adjustment. I talked about halftime and the game. It's when they go into the locker room and they make some adjustments based on what happened in the first half. And it's based on those adjustments that they end up either win or lose that game. Um, implementation of the ideas and plans conceived at the beginning are put into action. Problem solving, challenges and unforeseen issues are addressed. Sometimes when you start a year, you don't see the things that are coming, but it's in the middle of the year that you have to solve a problem, change something, make an adjustment. Don't be afraid. When things come up, just because something comes up does not mean it's over. You're not at the end yet. In the middle, make the adjustment, make the change that you need to make. Don't be intimidated when it looks like things are not going as you plan. You can plan things at the beginning. You can implement a plan, a vision, but sometimes things change. Things happen that are unexpected. Well, in the middle is where you make the change or, the, or you make the adjustment that will make sure that you finish strong. So this is very important in the middle of the year. What, what things do you need to do now in the middle of this year? Uh, things that have come up at the first six months, unforeseen challenges, unforeseen things have come up that you didn't plan. You came into 2024, you got prophetic words, you began to decree, uh, release your vision, began to believe God for something new, but then something unexpected came up. Well, make the adjustment now. This is a good time to do it. It's normal for things to have to change and make adjustments. That's not uncommon. That's normal. And those who are able to make the change in the middle are the ones that will finish and end well. And so problem uh, solving, 
uh, progress measurement. You, you check your progress. Where am I now after six months? How is my year going? How are my goals going? What I envision? What is happening in my life now? Regular assessment of progress helps in making adjustments to improve outcomes and achieve goals. In spiritual journeys, um, the middle represents the ongoing walk of faith between initial conversion or awakening, beginning, and ultimate fulfillment or sig uh, significance in is significant includes spiritual growth. Believers deepen their faith, understanding, and relationship with God. In the middle, trials and perseverance. The middle is often marked by spiritual trials that test and strengthen faith. Um, a maturation, continuous spiritual practices and experiences lead to maturation and deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. In life's journey, in the broader context of life, the middle years, it's often called a mid midlife crisis because people often in the middle of their life, they have a crisis. But in the middle years of your life are often the most productive and challenging. They are important because these years often involve significant achievements in career and the raising of families, shaping the future. Also, identity formation. Uh, people re refine their sense of identity and purpose through various life experiences. And then legacy building, actions and decisions during th this period contribute significantly to the legacy one leaves behind. Uh, historical and, and, and societal context, in historical and societal context, the middle periods of civilizations or movements are crucial for cultural development, art, culture, and societal norms often flourish and evolve during the middle periods. Political and social change, significant reforms and changes are impl implemented, shaping the future direction. Stability and growth, societies often experience periods of stability and growth that, that solidify their foundations and prepare them for future challenges. Uh, interconnection, interconnection uh, the, be the beginning sets the stage and establishes the foundation while the end provides resolution and closure. However, the middle is the crucible where uh, transformation and progress happen during the middle. Character is revealed. Challenges and experiences of the middle reveal the shape and shape character. Meaning is created. The depth and meaning of the beginning and end are defined and enriched by what happens in the middle. In conclusion, the middle is of paramount importance in any journey or progress. It, it, it is the phase where plans are enacted, challenges are faced, growth occurs, and the foundation for the end is solidified. Understanding and valuing the middle ensures a more meaningful and successful journey from beginning to end. Well, that's that. sometimes we never think about the middle. We think about the beginning, we think about the end, but the middle is such an important part, making adjustments, evaluating what you've done, making changes, rising up against challenges, developing strength and character, getting a second wind, getting a second breath, um, and, and overcoming discouragement or frustration that you that you that has happened since you began something, a new project, a new endeavor, a new business. Uh, the middle is important. So in the middle of this year, 2024, let's take inventory. Let's look at what changes we need to make. We want 2024 to be a blessed year. We've already decreed it's the year more, the year more favor, James 4 and 6. Let, if you feel like I'm not experienced more, well, I pray for you now in the middle of this year 
I pray for more grace, more favor, more prosperity, more blessing, more revelation, more wisdom, more understanding. And I pray for change, evaluation. I pray that you'll make the right adjustments. You'll make the right evaluations. You'll make the right changes. You'll rise up with, with a new strength. You'll meet the challenges of this year head on. You'll not give up. You'll not be discouraged. You'll not be frustrated. You're not throwing the towel, but you'll have victory in the middle. middle. And again, I prophesy miracles in the middle. I pray for your finances in the middle of this year, your career, your business, your ministry, your endeavors, your projects, whatever you're believing God for in the middle of this year. I pray for you and I bless you and I speak grace, favor, peace, prosperity and shalom over your life, over your life in Jesus name. Amen. Don't forget to share this broadcast. Those on Facebook Live, put it on your page. Thank you for those that are giving on Facebook as well through the stars. Hit the star button next to the heart and like button if you want to sow a seed today or go to the giving addresses and uh, sow a seed in the, in the middle. Believe God for miracles in the middle, in the middle of your finances, in the middle of any financial struggle, in the middle of any financial problem. Let miracles happen in the middle and uh, sow a seed. 111, Deuteronomy 111, the Lord make you a thousand times more. Go to those giving addresses, cash app at AJE Global and PayPal at Apostle J.E., the number one. Thank God for all of you that have been tuning in. I will be at Crusaders Church this Saturday, 3821 South Michigan. I'll be ministering 2 p.m. this Saturday. And don't forget tonight, 8 p.m. at Contagious Church in Tampa, 7 p.m. online Central Standard Time, and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the teaching Demons, that destroy relationships and marriages or demons that destroy marriages and relationships. For the next couple of months, I'm going to be doing deliverance workshops uh, online. We'll do one, excuse me, in July as well. We've been doing them on the prophetic. We're going to do one on deliverance coming up tonight and next month as well. Uh, there's such still a need for deliverance and the ministry of casting out demons and setting people free. And, and people getting set free from things is such a great need. So we're continuing to teach on that subject and minister and believe God for miracles of deliverance and miracles of breakthrough. Well, we're going to continue this conversation in Clubhouse. Thank you so much, those that are on Facebook Live. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and, and liking, and giving as well. I appreciate it so much. Until tomorrow morning, um, as always, in departing, until you hear from me again, God bless you and double shalom. God bless.